Now, removing lug nuts with an impact gun, no problem. Putting them back on, that's no place for gun play. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. We're talking about torquing lug nuts to the proper specification. First off, why do we want to do that? Well, you want to make sure the wheel's secure, that's important. And second, you don't want to do any damage to the studs, the lug nuts, or warp the rotor or hub assembly. Torque specifications are key. How are you going to do it? Well, we can use a torque wrench. It's pretty simple. And you want to use a torque wrench and go in a star pattern. No matter what your lug pattern is, just go in a star pattern and you should be fine. How do you do it? Well, you set the torque wrench to the proper specification. You go around to each one of your lugs going in that star pattern. Click, click, click. If you have a click type torque wrench, if you have a digital one, just look at the torque specifications on the gauge. Once you go around, you make sure that wheel's secure. I like to go around about twice. And why do I do that? And why do we go in a star pattern? Number one, to keep it secure. And number two, we're gonna distribute that torque equally around that rim in that star pattern. Second, we can actually use these torque limiting adapters. In industry, we just call them torque sticks. They're like a big torsion bar, really. You can see this one's really, really thin and the other ones are thick. They're different torque specifications. What do you do? Well, that's nice because you can use the gun, but when you use the gun, you have to use the torque limiting adapters on it. Just go around once again in a star pattern. You're distributing that torque evenly and you're not doing any warping or damage into that rim. You hit it about four or five clicks with that gun and then you're good to go. Len, a lot of misconceptions when we start putting these things on. I mean, Annie sees this is great stuff. It is, and sometimes people like to put that on the lug studs or they'll actually put it on the rotor. The problem with that is it's extremely viscous. It's very thick, and what happens is you get all your torque done, and then it squeezes out of there, your tire ends up loose. And your torque specifications are not going to be right. Don't use it. So we recommend, if you want some rust and corrosion protection, use something thinner, like our metal protector. You go ahead and spray it on the lug studs, spray it on the rotor. Don't get it on the rotor surface, obviously, but get it where the studs are going to go. Put your lug nuts on there, you get your rust and corrosion protection, and you don't have any of those problems using anti-seize. Now I'm in Florida, you know, we got salt water and stuff, but you're up north. I mean, these things get nasty. They do. They tend to rust on, and you see people videos of people knocking them off with sledgehammers and all kinds of stuff. Just hit it with a little rust and corrosion spray, you're good to go. Let me ask you a question. I had the whole hub assembly off, and you know, the rotor face to the actual hub. We could spray it there as well because we get some problems there. We get some pedal pulsation or some lateral run out or run out on that rotor. Not a good thing. No, it isn't. So once you get it all cleaned up, go ahead and hit it with some of that. You can do the same thing with your rims. If you've got an aluminum rim, dissimilar metals, you can see that corrosion in there. This will help that. Give me that, Len. This one's coming home with me. You know, there's a proper technique for putting lug nuts on as simple as it seems. And there's a proper technique for all your fluid services. And for all those fluid services, just go to amsoil.com.